Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is a morning market prep video for October 1st, 2020. So beginning a new month, the futures are fired up this morning, but my goodness, we had a volatile session yesterday with lots of whip, lots of drama. So what does that mean for today? Well, probably a little bit of the same as we are trying to decide in this market whether or not Congress is going to get a stimulus bill put together. So how about we grab ourselves something to drink? You may want something strong this morning because of the wildness of this market. Settle in and let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, looking at the market, we had a substantial rally yesterday, breaking up through that 50-day moving average in the chart. We also had some technical things that really improved here, breaking through that price resistance. We still have this price resistance in the chart to deal with here on the Dow. And we did break through the downtrend on that upside move yesterday and it really triggered a short squeeze yesterday in hopes all of those hopes of um, another big stimulus package unfortunately yesterday afternoon we learned that they failed to come to an agreement and we whipped sod pretty hard yesterday let's take a look at an intraday here's our intraday yesterday where we were climbing 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 and then whip sod hard yesterday when we learned that they failed to come to an agreement. Then right at the end of the day, those bulls stepped back in when they heard that, oh, we're gonna delay the vote on this, that there may still be a glimmer of hope to get something done. Today, we are seeing um, airlines, um, airlines are going ahead with their plans to furlough about 38,000 people because they need the bailout money um, that's in that stimulus bill. Um, we have the uncertainty whether or not they will come to an agreement. The president has extended an offer for $1.2 trillion. Congress, or I should say the House, is pushing for $2.4. So a pretty substantial um, divide between the two. Whether or not they can come to some kind of agreement. I don't know, but what we can be assured of is that the market will be very, very sensitive to any news out there. So if you are trading in this environment, make sure you remain very focused, stay flexible because this market could reverse in about half a heartbeat if they should fail. So be really, really careful on how you trade and don't overextend yourself because the whip in this market is going could make for a very, very dangerous trading environment. Let's take a look at our uh, technicals here in the chart. And if we look, whoops, there we go. If we look here, we had a substantial improvement crashing right back up through that resistance um, of that 50-day moving average in the chart yesterday. But let's also keep in mind that when we move up substantially and leaving a big gap behind like we're looking to do this morning, this is this morning's open, we're all fueled up on hopes again, that leaves that big open hole which um, below which adds significant danger to the trade. So make sure you plan your trades very carefully and be really, really focused on that price action for those potential whips and swings that could certainly occur. Also, don't rule out the possibility that we could gap up this morning and then push all the way back down um, to fill that gap yet today. So anything is possible. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also pushed up through its 50-day moving average and then failed that 50-day moving average yesterday with the whipsaw in, that we saw in the market closing just below. Now this morning, again, we're gapping up, all fueled up on hype and hope 
of a stimulus deal, which may come. I can't tell you whether or not they'll come to an agreement or not, but certainly um, there is danger in that those big emotional swings um, in the market. So watch that closely. Technically, we've improved um, breaking back a four, above that 50-day moving average. We always have to remember when we break an average like that, a big average, it's not uncommon for a retest of that for support. So keep that in mind. We could easily slide back. Watch that closely. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now, the NASDAQ has been the strongest of the bunch. And although we had a candle left behind yesterday that was... Um, really not all that bullish, um, but it did hold the 50-day moving average. Now this morning, we're gapping big and we're challenging this resistance in the chart this morning. So watch that carefully as the NASDAQ is trying to roar back. It, it really seems... Um, well, it's hard for me to get my head around. Yesterday, our, our GDP number came in at a negative 34 uh, negative 37.4, which was a little bit less than the expectations of the market. But it's remarkable to me that just based on um, hopes of a stimulus bill, we're going to shoot back up here with our economy in tremendous trouble. Um, overall, it's just remarkable to me, but that's the emotion of this market. So be careful of the big whips. They can really be dangerous if you chase into them. Technically, definitely has improved. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM rallied yesterday, breaking back above its 500 day moving average. Notice a big, ugly candle here, uncertain candle. Um, yesterday at the close. Now we're gapping back up this morning. So you can see we're approaching that 50 day moving average, whether or not we can break through there, I cannot tell you. Um, there is our downtrend we're trying to breach back up through, whether or not that can occur or not. Just keep that in mind. Um, IWM still has a quite a little bit of work. Uh, to get back up there. Can it do it? It certainly can, but watch that close. Let's take a look at the VIX. VIX, a um, bit of a roller coaster ride yesterday on the VIX, even though the VIX doesn't respond like it normally does. With um, the bullishness that we had, we pushed down and we tested that 50 day moving average again. And then as that fear came in that they may not reach a deal, we popped all the way back up. So, a little bit of back and forth here, um, tremendous uncertainty, and this volatility is very, very dangerous. So, if you do trade, make sure you plan carefully for it. Trade the correct position sizes because it could be very dangerous um, on any news report we could shift in the market. Let's take a look at um, T2122, which is the four-week new high, new low ratio. This was an interesting ride yesterday as well, where we pushed up. We were nearing, we were nearing the over uh, overbought area of the market, the bearish reversal zone, when we got that whipsaw yesterday. And that whipsaw brought T2122 all the way back down here toward that mid zone. Now this morning, we're gapping right back up and maybe even a little bit higher. So this morning, we're looking at a gap up that is likely going to drive us right up here into this bearish reversal zone or an overbought condition in the short term. We can certainly stay overbought assuming that some kind of a stimulus bill news is reached and all of the economic data that we face today doesn't create some hardship for the market. But, oh my goodness, um, it's really hard to do any planning. It's impossible. It's really impossible to hold on to an edge as any kind of a swing or position trader in this market. Um, intraday trading, um, that's where the world is right now. It's just this really fast um, hope and dreams whipping back and forth. So watch that carefully and just plan very, very carefully on how you decide to trade this, if you decide to trade this. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar has an awful lot on it for the market to deal with today. Whether we will get much of a reaction or not, just based on all of the hopes that we have uh, to go further into debt. 
um, <laughs> with the market. But um, let's take a look. We have jobless claims this morning. That obviously can move the market around. Consensus is looking for a little bit of de decline in those jobless claims. But keep in mind, we've heard about Disney laying off, um, oil companies laying off. Um, this could soon start to perk up here. So don't be surprised if... Um, if we do start to see that occur. Uh, personal incomes and outlays will also come out. Now they're looking for a number here that's a little bit less than last time, so uh, than the last reading. So that could also have a little bit of market sensitivity to it. Um, PMI manufacturing, um, ISM manufacturing, and construction spending, the natural gas report, and a good deal of Fed speak going on today and Fed balance sheet, which doesn't seem to matter anymore. Um, everyone knows we're just building, we're just stacking, stacking debt on debt um, at such a tremendous rate. Um, the only thing that seems to matter to most of the market is whether or not we can push this back up to new highs. So watch that closely. Very, very sensitive market, a market that will be very sensitive to political news. So be quite careful with that. On the earnings calendar today, we have um, just a few companies that um, have verified reports. There's some... Um, a very small cap companies that may report, but their um, reports have not been confirmed. But we do have a few that we want to pay attention to today. Um, overall, there's nine confirmed reports, and a few of those are somewhat notable. So let's take a look at what we've got going on. First off, PepsiCo. PepsiCo has already reported, and they reported good results in their um, report. So gapping up this morning here on PepsiCo and looking very bullish. So this is today's candle pushing back up um, substantially. We're running into some price resistance up here, but nice move um, in the fact that we're breaking back above this significant resistance. So any rest, consolidation, or pullback would set up a pretty good opportunity in PepsiCo. Let's take a look at ConAgra. ConAgra will be reporting today. Oops can't type this morning. Con Agra will be reporting today. It looks like we've had considerable volatility in that price action today. Um, a big whip up, a whip back down, and we're bouncing around here quite a bit. So a little bit of uncertainty maybe in the ConAgra report. Um, watch that carefully. We've been pushing back up toward this resistance level in the chart. Um, if that report disappointed, that would be unfortunate here for ConAgra. We could fail at kind of a resistance level. So watch that carefully. Also, we have STZ Constellation Brands reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Can't see that we've had much change here. It's been dealing with some resistance levels in the chart. So many of these charts just trying to push um, resistance levels um, and bouncing back from this sell-off. Um, just lots and lots of charts pushing up into resistance. So watch those levels carefully. And last but not least, not particularly notable, but it's on the list, so we want to pay attention to it. Um, Bed Bath & Beyond. This is a company that is really remarkable. It was, nobody cared about this. It was just it was a pathetic um, uh, looking company until COVID. And somehow um, COVID has turned this company around and made it very, very bullish. And as you can see, gapping up this morning, looks like they had a report that is moving this up and we're trying to break through some resistance here in the chart. Don't understand quite how um, shutting down the store, laying off employees and, 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 and all those things has turned this around, but it certainly has. And the bulls just seem to be willing to buy about anything right now. So watch that. Um, Bed Bath & Beyond looking pretty positive here this morning. Um, let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, if you guys could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos,
these videos, please click that um, subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up. So you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. Also, if you feel the video was worthy, if you pick something up in here that helped you and you're planning for the day, and that's what the purpose of this is, to provide no, no drama, to do um, no prediction, but just be looking at the technicals and the things affecting the market to the today and how you may want to approach that. So if you found that to be helpful, click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and also please feel free uh, to share this video with anyone out there that may have an interest on your social media platforms. Let's take a look at some of these stocks and remember when I post one of these stocks it is not a recommendation to buy or sell the security you need to do your own due diligence on these trades make sure you never ever want to blindly follow someone else's trading you want to make sure and evaluate this based on your rules in your trading let's take a look at CRWD this has been a real interesting chart setting up it alerted yesterday pulled back a bit and is popping up again this morning. Notice we've been moving up in a trend. We broke through some price resistance here in that chart, pulled it back to the trend. Now we're back up here. We've consolidated that move. This looks quite bullish and a good opportunity for maybe some upside move. Keep a close eye on CRWD. I also mentioned that yesterday. I also mentioned Crocs yesterday and Crocs struggled a little bit yesterday, but eventually found that bullish inspiration to move up this morning holding on to this price support we have that same kind of pattern just trying to resume this upside trend keep an eye on crocs maybe moving to the upside here um, i do think we want to keep an eye on costco costco continuing to look very good um, I actually own this, and so I do have a bias on this. I want to make that very clear. And I do think that there is a high probability that Costco will soon find um, a few profit takers, a little bit of selling. So let's watch this. I wouldn't chase into this move because we're five days up now in this move, but any rest or pullback over here into this trend would be a good opportunity to be paying attention to. Costco has some pretty good upside potential. Other retailers looking quite strong yesterday, um, looking really good. Take a look at Walmart. Walmart moving up, breaking through my alert here. I already own Walmart. I've owned this for some time. And I do think there's a pretty good story here um, for Walmart moving higher. But watch this closely. Um, we may be moving in this sharper upside trend, but Walmart's kind of known for a flatter trend. So don't be too surprised if this has to rest or pull back more. Keep a close eye on Walmart. Also, it's going to be really, really important for everyone as we look at these, any of these stocks, uh, to remember that we're going to be heading into another earnings season here in about a week and a half. So um, pay attention to those earnings reports um, as you start to uh, decide whether or not there are trades in here that make sense to you. Let's take a look at Starbucks. I've been keeping a close eye on Starbucks. Now, Starbucks found a little bit of inspiration yesterday, pushing up, and I think there's a pretty good story going on here um, in Starbucks. They've made quite a transition to curbside pickup and a lot more digital pay uh, going on. And as you can see, um, dealing with this downtrend in the chart, I wouldn't be at all surprised to see this consolidate over to trend before we pop through. But keep a close eye on Starbucks. I think there may be um, a reason to be watching that one pretty closely. Um, pretty good chart. One of the things we're going to have to get moving here is we're really going to need to see the financials perk up. If we can't get these banks moving uh, to the upside, I don't believe I've ever seen a sustained rally in the market that didn't include the financials and we need to get them moving here to the upside as you can see XLF the financial ETF pushing up 
But boy, this thing's got a lot of work, a lot of resistance above, a lot of challenges ahead. I did see that they um, extended the uh, the restrictions on banks for uh, buybacks and dividend payments and things like that. So more challenges may be ahead here on that financial sector, and that may not bode all that well for the overall market. So watch those things carefully. We need some of that stuff turning around. Last but not least, let's take a look at Dollar General. Dollar General has been one of the COVID favored stocks out there. And at, with all the concerns out there with COVID, uh, Dollar General trying to push on up. Blue sky highs here. Might wanna keep an eye on this. This may still move substantially higher. There's a lot of other stocks out there to look at. There were some good moves um, happening in some of the gaming stocks yesterday. Um, a lot of retail showing um, um, signs of improvement. So keep a close eye on the market. Today could be very, very whippy, very volatile, and even have very violent moves depending on how the news uh, plays out today. So watch this market carefully, plan very carefully, and make sure that you're prepared for the wild volatility that could be um, in this market today. I want to wish you all a fantastic day and I want to wish you great profits. But please, everyone, stay safe out there. Be careful. Don't want to see you losing tons and tons of capital in this whip. Remember, it's about impossible to hold on to any kind of a trading edge as a swing or position trader. Intraday trading kind of has the edge right now with these big swings and whips. So unless you're pretty adept at that really quick price movement, you should be really, really careful um, in a market with so much at stake right now. So with that, everyone, we'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have an awesome day. We'll talk to you all very soon.